This is Silver Surfer for NES. It's regarded as one of, if not the hardest, NES game, which is saying something, because, you know, people talk about NES hard. This is it, man. Um, I'm going to the stage because if I don't make it through this one, it's going to be trouble. So we start with the top-down stage. If you hit the walls, you die. You hit the ceiling, you die, you die, you die, you die. Uh, I'm not going to be talking a ton during this. Because I need to focus. See so you now. I was concerned when I first started doing these type of videos that um, it would be boring just to watch somebody play a game. Although, you know, I do narrate a little bit, but um, I've done quite a few of these now, and it, um, people really tend to like when I do these because it really just, uh, this is 100% focused on the gameplay. And I'm glad that there's an audience on YouTube for this kind of thing because, uh, this is, you know, really what video games are all about, just, just playing them. You know? Alright, now... I'm gonna get an upgrade over here in a second. Right... or extra life. Right there. <clears throat> See, that's an extra life. I got five right now. And then also on, um... Uh... Every 100,000, I was trying to think of the number, every 100,000 you get an extra life. But you don't want to die in this game because if you die, you lose your upgrades. And that's the main point that I, I can make with this game is that, uh, you know, don't die, <laughs> you lose your upgrades. It's like uh, in Super Mario Brothers, if, uh, if you have a fire flower and you were to you know, you, you die. It's not hard to get the fire flower back. But in this game, it's really hard to get your upgrades back. It's a huge setback. So yeah, that's what why this game's so hard. That, and obviously, you know, you have to have fast reflexes, and there's a million bullets, come, bullets coming at, at you, and all, all other things, but there's, there's memorization involved, too. Like right here, I know that I gotta go ahead because that's the fire drops built behind me right there. So yeah, there's a lot of things to learn, and it's a it's a hard game. <laughs> no no uh, no question about it. These guys are gonna come, maybe. That's not good. Maybe I can salvage this. Okay. Right here is where you want to use the bomb. And then you can get through. I just need to get some of my fire upgrades back, which I should be able to do actually. Get up here. And yeah, there's one of them. And I got another extra life. There we go, got through that. Also difficult. Now we're gonna get the ball here. Got that. Yeah, one of the other things that makes this game hard is uh not knowing what you can run into. Like that pot right there, for example, if you touch that, you're dead. Like, why would Silver Surfer or this superhero die if he touched a pot? <laughs> but you do. He's a wimp like that. I'm gonna get more upgrades here. This is where I'll be in better shape because, here we go. Right there. Okay, now I got all my upgrades back. I don't have any bombs, but 
but I have this, so in okay shape. There we go, and it's dead. Alright, now if I can get through this part, this next section's a little tough. Whole game's tough, but this in particular is a little hard. I'm getting a lot of the hard things out of the way first, because if I can't get through, through the hard stuff, it's done. Alright, right here. You want to basically stay here until all this stuff extinguishes. And now we can move. If I get it right about here, and back up, you can just shoot the boss, and it's not much he can do. He's gonna start backing up right there, so you already he's done. You just gotta make sure you kill the rest of these birds. Fire birds. There you go. Now listen to this. It, that reminds me of the sound from the Dr. Wily thing. Um, I'm going to do this level next because this is also really hard. And if I can get through this part, the other one shouldn't be quite as bad. And also this level, I can get my upgrades back if I do mess up too badly. So I, if I can make it through this, um, then the other section shouldn't be too, too terrible. So yeah, I got to concentrate. You cannot run into these brownish or red things. Colors. And going up here. Oh god. And actually, I'm gonna be going down because there's another bomb upgrade you can get right there. I need one because I had none. Not too too hot on bombs right now. I see these spaces right here. Like you can go right through those spaces. But these th three things above me, you can't. So that's like where the game is a lot of trial and error, knowing what you can run into and what you can't. Like the face, you can go through this face. These blue stones, if you touch those, you're dead. You need to know all that. And that just comes from playing the game and dying, hitting them, and then, then you know. Alright, I'm gonna use the bomb coming up in one second here, right? There, I just used it. That's one spot that I also find. It's good to use. Okay. Just a little worried right there. Okay, he's dead. See, if you're strong there, you can get through that. Alright, so decent decent start so far. But it all falls apart when you get to the end of the game anyway, because then it just gets so hard. There are continues in the game, which we'll get to that <laughs> hopefully later. Hopefully not. Hopefully we don't have to use any of the continues, but yeah, good luck. So I got through what I consider to be most of the hard stuff. I mean, this is all hard too, but the stuff that I have a really hard time with, I took out first. This part I kind of run through like that. Just get through it as quick as you can. You guys are on the left and right here, I think. Yeah, like this dude and this dude. You get this, extra points, back up all the way, there's going to be eyeballs that come out. 
Okay. And right here, making past these, these things can be annoying. There's like a little thing here, okay. And you gotta watch out, the, the blue there, you, you would run into the blue if you touched it. Oh, and there's, that was an extra life. That stinks. I always tend to miss that one. Okay, and this is the end of this part. Whew. All right, here we go. These guys right here, I don't kill them because I think they split apart. I've had them split apart on me before and then they're hard to kill. Okay, and the boss is coming up. Basically, these projectiles just shoot the projectiles. There we go. Another piece, piece of the puzzle. Once you get all of them, the game is uh, the game's done. The game's over. If you get them all. All right. So the really hard ones are out of way. I'm gonna save that one um, because I can probably get through that and have all the upgrades. So I'm gonna go to the, this one for now. I would say. Because you want to go into that last level having your upgrades, so I almost feel like saving the easy level is a good idea because you can get all your upgrades and be ready for that last level. This level is also difficult. Not quite as bad, but it can be. What you want to do here is sh shoot down a lot. It's going to be coming up here in a second. Like that. Like that. Oh, arg. Great. Now I'm in trouble. They give me an app though. Alright. Look at that. I just got an extra life, I think. Possibly, maybe. But I need more firepower here. That's for sure. There's some. Okay, that's good. That's definitely helpful. Okay. Okay, good. Good. This is the end of the guy. If he would die, that would be great. And he's dead. Okay. Oh, this game's stressful. <laughs> My heart rate is like skyrocketing. Have the triple shot here. I definitely need more power. There's a little bit more, and that's good. There's one more to get. There it is, right there. 
Perfect. Not a good game to hit your nose or anything. That's really good at that. Absolutely need it. Hopefully I don't. This game will absolutely kill your hand. Can't tell. Okay, get through that door by, by the way, because that shuts. That killed me one time, which was really annoying. You make it through that whole stage and then the door shuts on me. Okay. This is the level that has the sperm on it. So I am playing on a CRT TV, by the way. Um, the actual cartridge, unusual. And uh, I think I mentioned earlier, uh, I'm not using a turbo controller, clearly, because I'm tapping the whole damn time. All right, here we go. God. There we go. Dead. Okay, that's that one. Oh. Murder on your hand. Yeah, once you get all those pieces, uh, you beat the game. So again, I'm going to save that for the end. I'm going to do the Emperor. like that thing right there, do you know if you can even go through it or what? Some of these objects, it's, just, it's very hard to tell. Points. And yeah, there's a ball there. Good. Right there on the left, I think that's the left end guy taken off. Which I think that's a little, neat little detail. The end guy, this section. Not the game. Okay, I just used the bomb. Because things are getting a little crazy. I didn't want to have to do that, but... There he is. There you go. Definitely need more bombs. I should be able to collect them. If I get back to that first stage, which isn't too uh, difficult, if I can get through this Emperor stuff. I usually go to the bottom there, but I'm gonna try the top route. Here, I'm going to shoot down. Oh man, that dude almost got me. Alright, I'm going to try to get this bomb. I think if you wait too long it disappears or something. Okay. 
gotta get good at selecting between the things. Maybe, but okay. Yeah, there, sometimes there's like an extra light there. I don't see it there now. Oh, there, oh maybe it's coming up ahead. I'm not gonna go for it because it's kind of like a trap. I always, I always get killed when I try to go for that, so I'm not doing it. Something I know from trial and error that I have a hard time with that, so I'm not doing it. Alright, that part's done. Section three. The fire thing coming up, right? Yeah. Which I don't need it, so but points. Eh, blew up anyway. Alright. This is probably the easiest boss in the entire game. Watch me die now that I said that, but no really. I mean that it's the Emperor. It's really the easiest. <sighs> Alright, so... Um, the level that you'd normally start out on is the one I'm doing next. Again, I'm saving it because... Um, now I know that going into the last one, I will... I should have the upgrades. I don't want to get cocky about it, definitely, but... But the... the the end of the game, the last level, is so hard. <laughs> um, that's when I'm going to start. I mean, I hope that I can make it through, but I'm probably going to have to start using continues and stuff then and everything. I've done pretty well so far. I've, I'm happy with my run here up until this point, but when it gets to that last level, it's just the difficulty skyrockets. Um, and it's already hard already a hard game, but the last uh, couple levels are by far the hardest part. I used to play this game a lot with, uh, or not a lot, but I used to play this game occasionally with James in college. Right there, you can get a bomb. Rubber duckies. And um, I remember popping this game in with James and just like, you just ram in, right into the wall and you die and it's like, all right, well, this game is ridiculous. But uh, I, I, I do like this game. It's got great music. One of the most rocking soundtracks on the NES. We're just saying a lot because there's a lot of great type, uh, music on the NES, but yeah, excellent music. Um, good gameplay, just really tough. Takes some getting used to. And takes a lot of practice. You have to know what you're doing. And how the items work and when to when's best to use bombs and things like that. Okay. Don't cram your head into the ceiling, please. And he's done. That's how easy that guy is. So this is the above angle part. Kind of neat that they changed the angles up. I think it 
to again some variety. I mean, possibly the only failing of this game is that it is probably a little too hard. Um, I mean, they could have toned it out a little bit. I think what they probably should have done was had difficulty settings with this game. Because I think then more people might try it out. Um, if this game had an easy, medium, medium, and hard setting, it would have been a little bit more universal. Um, but the fact that there is none just makes it a flat out hard game. It's like this game is just set on difficult to, from the get go, you know? You want to get to the bottom right here. Extra life. Good. We're close on another extra life. Right there. Nine extra lives right now. Hopefully we don't need to use them when I get to that last level. By the way, the background here is trippy. It's like Doki Doki Panic Waterfalls. This guy I always feels bad for it. He dies, and then he looks sad. Aww. <laughs> Whatever. He's dead. I gotta really focus here. <sighs> Don't ever stop firing like I just did. I screwed myself. Alright, I'm switching the angle. So now that those guys come from behind. And you kind of get in the middle, right about there. The boss is going to come up. You pretty much just keep firing. Stay right there. Boom, and he's dead. Alright, so now we're going into the last level. I have full upgrades. This is where I have to absolutely just focus, because... <sighs> this is where it gets... goes from really, really hard to next to impossible. So, wish me luck. There's gonna be a little bit of story here. <sighs> You've done well, Surfer. Now one piece of the device is missing. It's in the magic domain. What's inside the magic domain? A bunch of really hard levels is what's inside the magic domain. That's what's in there. All right, here we go, I gotta focus. Yes, I'm nervous. there. I see the bomb. I see the another bomb. There. 
obviously don't use a lot of them, but I'll get through it if I can. Extra life. I've got like 10. Okay, switch to the bottom thing. Dead. Holy crap. <sighs> yeah, I think this is top down. Oh, man. Okay, you don't you won't run into that. Get up bombs. weird like elephant things.
Let's see what that's done. Yes! Popcorn. <laughs> oh my god. My heart rate, I might have a heart attack right now. I need to just put the controller down. <laughs> oh my god. That's it. That's Silver Surfer. I don't think my heart has beat it this fast since last time I was like running a mile. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, that is one of the hardest uh, NES games, without a doubt. Um, oh my god. Um, and it kills your hand. My thumb right now wants to fall off. Like, you can play it with a turbo controller, but it's like two different things. Playing with a turbo controller, or playing with the... having to tap the whole time. Oh my god. Wow. There it is, Silver Surfer, the end. Um, really good music. I think it's a really good game. Obviously hard. The game's all about the upgrades. If you can keep your upgrades, then it makes it slightly easier. But um, but you still have to know exactly what you're doing, where to use the bombs, and how how to do everything. There's a lot of a lot of practice, basically. And I I was practicing last uh, day to get th through this. I actually uh, made it to the end boss. Um, uh, twice, or I made it to the last level twice, so this is my third attempt uh, trying to go through the whole game. But there you go, finally did it. Silver Surfer. Awesome game. Thanks for watching.